Well, everyone, a brand new emulator came out for our Android phones, and Android emulation just keeps getting better and better, which is beautiful. So I'll go and show you how to install this Vita, you know, emulator, which is actually pretty cool. It's its first release. There's only going to be more releases from here. So a few things to keep in mind. Actually, I'll just go and show you how to install it so I don't bore you. The first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to this website right here, which is vita3k.org. Now, normally I would leave these linked in the description. It's not going to work out right now because I don't know if YouTube's going to take this video down. But just go and type in this website. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the three lines up here and you want to click download. Now, when you come here, you want to make sure you download the specific model for our device. So they have them for a lot of them. Android is at the bottom. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go click grab from GitHub and then we're going to come here. Now, you can also just type in this repo if you want to, but regardless, you want to scroll down until you get into this APK file right here. So we want to download this APK file, and it says this file may be harmful, whatever, just click download anyway, and then it's going to download this file. Now, if I click on it, it will allow me to go ahead and install this APK file. But if you have to allow it, just click allow you know, from unknown sources, and then you should be able to install it regardless. So go and click install. It should take a second or two. Now, I think the requirements are you need to be like on Android 7 or 8 or newer. So if you have one of the phones that have came out in the last two or three years, you should be good. We want to go and click open, and that is it. It's now going to ask us what language we want to use. So in this case, we'll just go and use United States. So we'll click start. It's going to ask us if we want to download firmware. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and download whatever we need to. And in this case, we'll just go and click download. And then when you have it downloaded and installed properly, you can go ahead and set this up as you normally would. And we can go and click next, and that is it. So it says you have completed our initial setup, and it says your Vita 3K system is set up. So now you can go and click OK. Now if you followed the instructions before, you should be good to go. But if you didn't, like how I didn't, I don't even know if it'll boot up. Now that is essentially how you install it. Now if you want to go ahead and get certain games and whatnot installed, you will have to find those and source them yourselves. And like I said, there's a lot of stuff you still have to kind of go through, so make sure you follow those instructions from before. Now going through the rest of this you know, process is very basic. You can click file, emulation, uh, you can go through all this. Now, a few things to keep in mind. One, this is a very early build. So this is still very early on. So if you expect for every single game to work, it's not going to work. So keep that in mind. Also, it's still a work in progress. There's going to be updates all the time. So just because a game doesn't work right now, doesn't mean it won't work in the future. So just keep those things in mind. But that's basically how you install it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.